Angela, welcome back to Tiny Home Simple Life. And today I am going to get started with the cleaning in this camper and I am going to try to reattach a couple of these uh, these panels for the glass for the windows. So that's what's on chat for today. Stay tuned. It's not bad. It's probably, I'd say it's probably full size. I don't think it's bigger than that. I think it's definitely a full size bed. But I'm one person. How much do I need? Oh, it's another curtain rod. I'm going to be replacing those today. stuff is lifted up and the table is out of here now I'm going to really take a closer look at this back wall that I have not really looked at yet so let's take a look so this is the back wall which looks pretty solid this is a uh, this is nothing this is just tape that's on top of a curtain rod so that's nothing um, this must be for the lights outside. And then it's been duct taped inside here. This does look like a little bit of damage over here. So I'm gonna have to look closer at that because that could be bad. And this looks relatively okay. Let's see if the other side has any damage. The other side might look a little damp too, but maybe not. I think that's just from the, the cleaning fluids that I was just using because the wall looks perfectly fine. So let's see what's underneath this mysterious duct tape. Ah, look at that. There are two screws poking through there. I don't know if you can see that they're screws. Let me bring the light over. So those are two screws that I am pretty sure go along with the plate bracket that's outside. And they should have used shorter screws instead of pulling off this weird cover-up job because that is, I believe, what is causing the leak that had resulted in that damage down on the bottom underneath the, the bed area. So I will be taking those out and I will be using shorter screws when I screw the plate back in and I'm going to be sealing all that up so that we don't have an issue going forward and I'm going to have to do some repair work down on the bottom where that damage is. So I'm sure that if that's all that's wrong with this trailer, 
I am in really good shape. So I took that top board off. And now I'm gonna lift this one off. And I might grab my light so that we can get a closer view inside of here. So let me just go do that. So, this is the refrigerator right here, and I'm going to have to take it out so that I can, I can uh, take some measurements. So that's the next, the next thing on my list. Hopefully, I can get it out because it seems like it's jammed in here pretty darn good. refrigerator. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. 
now that it's out of the hole in the wall. See, it's one of those old school ones. So I will be happy to see it gone. I know that it's probably more close to the, the vintage of the trailer, but it's not for me. So this is gone. It's going out the door right now, if I can get it out the door. <laughs> now that the refrigerator's out, I can take a better look at this right here. And uh, so that's what the original paneling looked like before they painted it this brownish color. And it will be primed very, very soon. And it'll be like a whole new camper. But this is the uh, this is gonna allow me easier access to the plumbing that I need to access to because I need to change the city water line and that has something to do with that way down there so that's my next task after I get this refrigerator out this is the area that is underneath where the refrigerator used to be and this is the line that I'm going to have to replace as part of replacing that city water. So I need to remove this. And I'm looking while I'm here, I'm getting down on the floor. It's a very tight space, but there's some carpet down here. And that's a crack, but not water damage. Over here, it looks like at some point it has gotten wet. And there is some there is some damage on this corner as a result. I don't know how well you can see that the camera, but there's definitely some damage in here. So I'm gonna have to be doing a little bit of a repair, I believe, over here too. But it does seem pretty dry. The one concern that I have is I can see outside from here. So I don't know how much has gotten into these walls all of this time. And uh, I'm actually surprised that it's not worse than it is. Cause this doesn't seem as bad as it could be. So it might just be a little patch on this side like it is on the other corner. So I should have been filming this whole process because it probably would have been funny, but I've been trying to get this refrigerator out the door of this camper and it just doesn't want to fit. So I have been taking it apart little by little and I have piles of screws and pieces and all of this. Let me turn this around. All of this and all of these and all of these and I have it this close and I cannot get this thing out the rest of the way. So I have no idea how I am getting this out of my camper. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to have to take this trim piece off, but I'm thinking, I don't want to have to take the door off either, but maybe that's the only way to get it out is if I take the door off, because it's literally that close. Like, it is so close, it's scary. So it just needs the tiniest bit and it can fit. I have to get it so that I can wedge it around so that this will go through. This is where the problem lies. If it weren't for this, it would definitely fit through the door. But this little motor compressor, whatever that went in these old refrigerators, this is a problem and I can't get it to come loose off the rest of the fridge so that I can get it out of the way. And I don't know what I'm going to do. This is definitely more of a hassle than I thought it was going to be just to take out a refrigerator. But if you can see, I don't know if it'll let you see, but down there, there's literally no more space. It's right up against the door. So I'm going to work on this a little bit more and we'll see what happens. At last, 
the refrigerator is out. I did end up having to take the whole bottom piece of this trim off, so I'm gonna have to put that back on and reseal it. But at least it's out, and that's all that matters. I don't ever want to see this refrigerator again after I get rid of it. I'll be so happy to have a modern refrigerator in here when I'm done. So that was my my major task for the day. I think I've managed to cut my finger and everything just taking out a refrigerator. I didn't even remotely anticipate that that would be the thing that would be difficult. So now I need to do some measuring because I need to plan on what I'm getting and what I'm going to put in this hole where the refrigerator was. So I'm thinking I'd really, really like to have a refrigerator and a, uh, a small, tiny microwave there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it. So I'm going to take some measurements and I'm going to see what I can find out there. something on the floor and I had no idea what it could possibly be and so I looked down and I realized look that darn refrigerator does not want to leave this camper it is holding on to dear life this is the plug for the the refrigerator that had been sitting on the floor this whole time now the refrigerator is officially out the door hooray <laughs> So, I have finished up all the cleaning that I'm going to be doing today. I just have to finish up the floors. And I have the whole time been working on a punch list. And for those of you who don't know what that is, that's a list of all the things that need to get done that I might not have thought about prior to this. I put on there all the measurements that I took and things I need to bring down next time I go down there. and. Um, so I have a really, really good running list of things that I need from the store, things that need to get done with the trailer that I might not have thought about yet. And I've also started sketching out some ideas of what I want to paint where and some of the organization strategies that I might be using down the road. So those are all really, really good things to do while you're doing the cleaning anyway. So you're in there, you're touching everything in the camper, you're able to to see if there's any damage anywhere like you'll you'll have seen in this video the couple of spots that I did find I would not have necessarily found those for quite a while except I was doing a deep clean and so those ended up being things that are listed on my punch list now I'm just waiting for my delivery guy to get here so that I can replace the city water valve and I think it's called a valve whatever it's called the city water intake I have to replace that and that's coming by delivery sometime today along with my tape and a couple of other things. So I'm waiting for that to come so I'm going to take a quick break, have some lunch and then probably run to the store and get some of these other things that I need. And then I'll be back at it again because I have to take advantage of all the good weather while we've got it. So that's the update from where I am right now. All right, so I just finished cleaning up the floor and I am going to attempt to do some of this, uh, this contact paper on the counters now. I am still waiting on the delivery guy, so the things that I was going to get done today, I didn't get done and I never went to the store after lunch and there's rain coming down, so I probably won't get that much more done today, but I want to at least accomplish one more thing. So I'm going to try to do these counters.
So that's a before and after of the countertop now that it's been recovered and it looks a lot better than it did before. Next up I will be doing some repairs inside, doing some priming of the walls and the ceiling and I will be changing out the roof vent so stay tuned for that and uh, please subscribe if you want to be notified when the next episode is released and please share my channel and please comment below if you'd like and in the meantime have a great day and I hope you're enjoying Tiny Home Simple Life. Thanks again. Bye-bye.